Carl Cameron, I want to start with you, and, and I want to ask you, what goes on? I mean, obviously, a mass shooter is responsible for the violence and the heinous acts that the mass shooter committed. It is also true that the ideology left in the mass shooter's screed mirrors the ideology championed by Tucker Carlson. What happens at Fox News when something like this happens? Here we go with this lunatic again. Am I alone or is there something really obnoxious about the way she speaks? It's like a valley girl but on the verge of falling asleep and her words just sort of stretch out in a way that really emphasizes the undeserved arrogance. First off, never believe anything these people say, much less this particular hack. She lies when her mouth moves and she is a consistent advocate for using government power to silence, imprison, and even kill her political opponents. There is until the end of April a persistent threat of domestic extremism, domestic uh, terrorism carried out in the ideology and around this belief that the election um, was fraudulent, that the COVID restrictions are unnecessary. All of those ideologies pushed by Donald Trump. But, but my question for you is around incitement. We had a policy and it was very controversial. It was carried out under the Bush years and under the Obama years of attacking terrorism at its root of going after and killing, um, and in the case of Amar al awlaki an American, a Yemeni American, with a drone strike for the crime of inciting violence, inciting terrorism. The security questions of the Republican Party as a domestic terror threat that were raised by the police officers whose political affiliation is unknown should be front and center for the Democrats in these midterm elections. Ooh, how convenient. Second, no. What's in that manifesto most definitely does not mirror anything Tucker Carlson or Fox News have ever said to my knowledge. Definitely not based on anything they've provided for evidence, which I have covered in my last two videos. I'll demonstrate this again in a moment, but first check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. All right, folks, now it's time to set goals for the next cycle of inflation. This way, you're always moving forward and growing, making money, not losing it. Just imagine having more freedom and having more fun. Start a gold IRA with noble gold right now and fight inflation and this month for every ira above 20k you'll get an incredible three ounce silver american virtue coin completely free as a thank you you can't go wrong with noble gold call 877-646-5347 right now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com you can also use the link in the description or pinned comment I can't even imagine. Uh, it's partly <laughs> why I ended up getting out of there. Uh, yeah. It's it really is kind of horrible to think that uh, journalists with national and international capacity are putting together this type of nonsense. I think the president did a great job. I wish he had done a lot of this a lot sooner, and we need a lot more from uh, the left and the middle. And uh, we got to watch out because the Republicans have become the purveyors of misinformation. And when our, our two party system is broken like that, democracy is seriously in trouble. The president acknowledged that it's time to actually start doing things and maybe taking some names and putting people in jail. Hey, good idea, Carl. You know who else thinks so? If all of your political opponents are dead in prison, poison, doesn't that send a message that you do not want a fair political fight? <clears throat> you got that? Democracy is in danger. So now it's time for Joe Biden, the left, and Democrats to start taking names and throwing journalists in jail <laughs> to keep them from saying anything that might disrupt their fantasy one-party system. Just let that sink in and marinate for a while. He just openly called for journalists that he disagrees with to be imprisoned by the government, no less based on his completely warped distortions of reality. He is lying. Mmm, just take a big old snort of those 100% pure, uncut, puffy white lines of gaslighting hypocrisy. These are the very same people who predicted doom because Donald Trump called them enemy of the people. 
which they are once again proving to be true. To give you just a small measure of how deluded Carl Cameron is, this was his reasoning for leaving Fox News. Quote, Cameron also accused the channel of spreading propaganda, replacing reporters with opinion makers, and using bias in favor of President Trump and his allies. So what does he do? He moves to MSNBC, a network known for spreading propaganda, replacing reporters with left-wing activists and Democrat Party operatives, and using bias in favor of Joe Biden. <laughs> It's almost like having no self-awareness is a prerequisite for working with these people. I'm just going to take deep breaths and calm down, and <laughs> we're just going to take a closer look at what Carl Cameron actually said here. I can't even imagine. Uh, <laughs> it's partly why I ended up getting out of there. Uh, yeah. It's It really is kind of horrible to think that uh, journalists with national and international capacity are putting together this type of nonsense. The nonsense that he's talking about here is so-called replacement theory, which actually has absolutely nothing to do with this conversation. Outside the fact that these paid liars are spreading misinformation in an attempt to conflate neo-Nazi rhetoric with mainstream discussion of illegal immigration's effect on elections. It's basically just the same old playbook. We used to always joke that everything Democrats disagree with is racist. And now, not only does this actually confirm that, but it actually proves that they're the racists. To prove this, just listen what Carl says here. I think the president did a great job. I wish he had done a lot of this a lot sooner and we need a lot more. If by doing this a lot sooner, you mean promoting what the media is now erroneously calling replacement theory, then Biden was doing that way back in 2015. Is that soon enough for you, Carl? Not only our Muslim communities, but African communities, Asian communities, Hispanic communities, and, and the wave still continues. It's not going to stop, nor should we want it to stop. As a matter of fact, uh, um, it's one of the things I think we can be most proud of. So, uh, so there's a second thing in that black box, an unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent, for the first time in 2017, we'll be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. So what Biden is talking about here is something that Democrats and their media talk about a lot. They think that illegal immigration is their ticket to one party rule. We know this because they openly stated, you don't even have to believe me because we have the receipts. Thanks to a montage put together by Tom Elliott of Gerbayan Media. It seems harder and harder to ignore that the echoes of replacement theory and other racially motivated views are increasingly coming out into the open. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will not be the majority in the country anymore. This will be the first generation ever in American history uh, in which whites will be a minority of the generation at some point. As of 2007, every year babies being born in this country, whites now are the minority. In 2044, uh, everyone is going to be a minority. As the demographics change, as white people become the minority in the country, which is coming. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. I've been saying it here, other people have been saying it here for years now, even before Donald Trump. The demographics is destiny. The white population is declining for the first time in history in America, while the number of multiracial Americans have more than doubled. So we live in a country where the demographics are changing. It's becoming less white. Uh, correct. Okay. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth. The growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. The idea that, uh, you know, whites will, will not be the majority I mean, that's, it's an exciting transformation of the country. It's an exciting evolution uh, and, you know, progress of our country in many different ways. The white population is declining. It, it was always on the upswing. So that speaks to the beautiful diversity of America. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population will, the demographics will weigh in politically. I believe anybody who echoes a replacement is to blame 
not for this particular crime, but it's, it's for no purpose, no purpose, except profit and or political benefit. And it's wrong. That's what Tucker Carlson, Fox News, and Republicans are talking about. Not some racial neo-Nazi conspiracy theory. They all know they're lying. That's how scummy and deprived Carl Cameron, Nicole Wallace, MSNBC, and the rest of them are. Again, we have the receipts and their own words on MSNBC. Make it because they, can, they, they can't run from it because it's, it's part of who they are at this point, as disgusting as that is. But make it the Republican replacement theory mainstream it because it this is the way you have to scare we, we don't have the economy on our side as democrats so you have to scare the bejesus out of people the way to scare it is say you know this replacement theory this is not just coming from some dark corner of the web this is the republican platform make them own it and democrats run from this fist fight i know in the previous segment eugene daniels you talked about the president not wanting to call out names call out tucker carlson call out the politicians and make this make them own it this is a republican platform Platform is the racist Republican replacement theory. They're desperate, and that's all they have because Joe Biden's losing his mind. The Democrats have gone full far left woke cultists, and the economy has been destroyed. Lastly, if you're wondering who sponsored this call to authoritarianism by Carl Cameron, it was Hyundai. So if you're thinking about buying a car, don't spend your money on people that hate you and want to destroy this country. All right, that's it for that one. Please hit that like button. Definitely share and subscribe. I try to upload content daily. Also, make sure to leave a comment and let us all know what you think. Thanks for watching. <laughs>